All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. It is your boy ER coming at you again this week with some more use it or lose it tips to hopefully let you achieve some of your dreams out there on those hikes that you're planning for this season. So what we're gonna talk about today is how to reprogram your mindset a little bit when you're on those long distance hikes so you can focus more on enjoying the moment and less on all those other things that you really can't control anyway. All right, so a lot of folks, as they look at their long distance hike that they're gonna attempt, they start getting overwhelmed by the mileage and the length of time it's gonna take them to do it. And the amount of resupplies are gonna have to build before they leave. And all these other things that are just distracting from the exact reason they're going out there and that's to enjoy the present moment. So what we're gonna talk about today is how to break up your hike into small, tiny, little controllable pieces, put a little bit of energy towards each one of those three pieces, and then get back to enjoying the present moment because that's exactly why we came out on the trail in the first place. So today I'm gonna give you some tips and narrow your focus down to three areas only, three. And I'm gonna use some military terminology here, but I don't necessarily want you to use the same lingo, create whatever lingo that you want that makes sense in your world. Uh, but today we're going to talk about a 10 meter, a 5 meter, and a 1 meter target. All right, so let's talk about the 10 meter target first. Now, I would suggest the 10 meter target should only be using about 5% of your mental energy every day. 5%, that's it. So what is a 10 meter target ER? A 10 meter target is three or four days in the future. Uh, looking forward to making sure, hey, the next time I hit town, uh, there's a hostel there. Maybe I make contact with it and get a reservation. I make sure that they have the shower facilities that I need, the laundry facilities that I need. They can shuttle me in town to get a resupply. Those are all those little logistics needs that you're gonna need when you hit the next town. And again, why is our farthest target only three or four days away? Because honestly, you can't control anything beyond that. And I would argue you can't even control that far ahead on your hike, but it's good to have a plan for your next town stop and that's it and then you're relieved of it there's a lot of us sit there and spend a lot of time studying the guidebook if you watch my videos you saw me do it every morning we're trying to plan out where am i going to be two weeks from now where am i going to get my next mail drop that's all fine and good but if we're being really honest we're wasting a lot of mental energy that we could be focused on enjoying ourselves in the moment instead of worrying about what's next or two weeks from now so again 10 meter targets, three to four days ahead, your next town stop, those things that you need to get refocused, re-energized, and get back on the trail after that 10 meter target. So example of this, leaving Hot Springs, I know that my next 10 meter target is Irwin, Tennessee. So overall a great morning so far. Gonna try to do 19 today, but the ultimate goal is to be in Irwin in about three and a half days. Um, resupply there, stay at Uncle Johnny's more than likely, and then continue northbound. All right, y'all, we will uh, see what the day holds. I'll be talking to you. So all I'm gonna do is look at the guidebook. I'm gonna see what's there. From experience, I know Uncle Johnny's there. I know all the accoutrement that comes with staying at Uncle Johnny's, and it gives me everything I need. It gives me town stops, gives me food stops, gives me a shower, gives me laundry facility, and it's right on the trail. Everything I need, to satisfy that 10 meter target. And hopefully that only takes about 5% of my energy every day to think about. All right, moving on down, let's talk about the five meter target. The five meter target is a lot closer to where you are right now. I would also argue that the five meter target should comprise about 15 to 20% of your mental energy every day. So things I'm looking at on my five meter target, what is the terrain like today? Where do I plan on stopping tonight to camp? What does the terrain look like tomorrow when I wake up, which may drive where I camp tonight? Where does that put me on trail? Is my mileage naturally gonna get me near a shelter? Do I need to keep going? Do I need to push it a little bit more to reach a shelter? Is there stealth camp spots nearby? How much food can I eat today? And will I have enough to make it to my 10 meter goal? Other things I'm looking for, what's the weather doing today? What's the weather gonna do tonight? And what's the weather forecasted for tomorrow? And folks, that's about it for your five meter. That's about it. 15 to 20% of your mental energy for the day should be spent on those five meter targets. The goal of the five meter target is not to over plan. It's just to make sure that what you do today fits into that bigger goal of your 10 meter target three or four days from now. I'm gonna go by Jeffers Brook Shelter, make sure we're full up on water. 
And then we start our climb up Musalak. We hit the peak at 1796. And then back down the treacherous north side, down into Kingsman's Notch. Now here's my problem. I don't want to go into town yet. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> about halfway up or walking through the snow on top, I might be calling Miss ER and saying, hey man, give me a room. Um, but I'm gonna come down into Kinsman's Notch and I'm gonna try to find a place to stealth camp. And if I can continually do that day after day, then I know I'm gonna hit my bigger goals and everything's gonna work out as planned. Last but not least is our one meter target. ER, what's that one meter target? Well, for me, that's about 10 minutes in front of me, stretching out about a couple of hours in front of me. In that time span, I'm looking at where's my next water stop? How much water do I have now? Will I have enough to make it? Do I need to ration? When am I gonna eat next? Do I need to put some hydration mix or some electrolyte mix into my water? Um, how much food am I snacking on right now? What's the terrain like in between me and the next water stop? All these little things that are staring right in front of me, that's your one meter target. And again, your one meter goals are to get you to your five meter goals. And your five meter goals are simply to get you to your 10 meter goals. And then you're gonna reset them all over again. In the example I used earlier, when I get to Irwin, Tennessee, everything's gonna reset and I'm gonna start again on my focus. My 10 meter goal is my next town and I'm gonna backstep those five meter and one meter targets every day. Last and most importantly, I would argue, is your present moment goals. Now, if we used all of our other percentages correctly, we still have around 50% of our mental capacity during each day to ensure we can stay in the present moment. Not ruminating on what happened yesterday or 10 minutes ago, not looking ahead to the one, five or 10 meter goals, but to be right here, right now, enjoying the beauty, the entire reason that we came out on the hike. How the trail brings you back to the present and it's amazing. It really is truly so simplistic yet it holds true every time that it happens. So I'm walking, always expecting, can't wait to get to the shelter at the end of the day, can't wait to get to the next water source because I'm out of water. And as I'm walking, I start looking ahead. If I'm walking, you know, on one of those side of a ridge lines and it does a sweeping curve around the ravine, I'll start looking across to the other side can't control anything over there, but I'm just too worried about the future instead of where I'm at currently. And every time I do, you either slip on a tree root, you trip over a rock, something happens that trips you up in the present because you're not focused on the present. That awareness has been life changing out here. Same thing goes with if I look backwards to see, man, I just heard something and I did something drop off my pack. Is that somebody behind me? Every time I turn around and look backwards, same thing happens. You slip on a root, trip over a rock, because you're not focused on the present. Such an analogy, simple analogy for life that we're all caught up in. We're all so worried about what's gonna happen next and what we did in the past that was either stupid or good but none of that we can control in the present moment. And as we do that, we trip up in the present moment because we're not focused on it. So this is the experience that we all think about. This is what we imagine when we say, hey, I'm gonna go walk in nature on this amazing long trail. Hearing the birds sing their beautiful spring and summer songs, feeling the crunch of the ground beneath our feet and seeing all the beauty that nature has laid out in front of us. That's the reason we're going out there. But if we're absorbing all of our mental capacity on doing these planning exercises all day, which a lot of us do, and this guy included, we miss the most important piece of our hike, which is each moment we are present on the trip. So ER, what do we do when it's hard for me to stay in the present and I'm spending way too much time planning, worrying, wake up anxious because I'm not walking enough miles? What can we do? Well, the first thing we shouldn't do is beat ourselves up for it. I had a lot of times out there that I wasn't meeting my goals. I was probably a little bit too hard on myself looking back at it. All you have to do in those moments is just realize everything's gonna be just fine. You are right where you're supposed to be. 
and all you have to do is refocus a little bit on those one, five, and 10 meter goals, get those solidified, and use the rest of your energy that day looking around and enjoying where you are. That's where the magic lives, folks. For those who can learn to do this successfully, you're gonna experience the magic that I keep talking about. For those who cannot let go of the details, logistics, the worry, the anxiety, the trail's gonna feel a lot like the same exact thing that you're facing here in the matrix. All right, so that's my use it or lose it tips for this week. I hope that came across the way I wanted it to because honestly, this channel and me spending time on here is nothing more than trying to ensure that you can go out there, find success and find the magic. The universe is laying it out perfectly in front of you. All you have to do is be open and receive it. Let go of some of that planning burden. Quit worrying about what happened yesterday and use that energy that you have left to enjoy right where you are right now. All right, folks, till next week, this is ER. Appreciate you tuning in. Deuces.